Atomic Heart will support RTX. Atomic Heart takes place in the Soviet Union in an alternate 1955. Advances in robotics in the 1930s enabled the USSR to defeat Nazi Germany in 1941, though with a much more severe loss of life. This results in the automation of Soviet labor and the development of a proto-internet called the Collective 1.0 linking these robots to a collective hive mind, vastly increasing productivity and scientific advancement by the end of the 1940s. Concurrently, scientist Dmitry Sechenov develops the Neuropolymer, a programmable module based on living tissue. A believer in a collective consciousness, Sechenov plans to launch the most advanced iteration of the Collective 2.0 on his 55th birthday in 1955. This Collective 2.0, also nicknamed Thought, allows the user to enchant its mental capabilities and brain activity, causing in huge amounts of information to be absorbed in very little time and more. In January 2021, NVIDIA shared an RTX trailer for Atomic Heart to show off ray tracing and DLSS support. As ever, Atomic Heart still looks stunning. It's a really quick look that appears to show off the museum area we've seen in past videos along with a bit more melee and supernatural power combat. A tech demo of its RTX and HDR was briefly available, but you can still watch a video of the tech in action below. The team is particularly happy with how it improves lighting and shadows, and says performance is holding up well. Atomic Heart is an FPS video game with action role-playing elements. The combat in the game consists of shooting and slashing with improvised weapons. A wide variety of enemies is featured, which may be mechanical, biomechanical, biological, and some of which are airborne. There is a crafting system where the weapons can be pieced together from metal parts that can be detached from robots or taken from household appliances. Weapons can also be upgraded via a mechanic called cassettes. Ammo in the game is scarce, and there is a sneaking option. Quicktime events are also featured in the game. The player wears a special glove, the polymer glove, which grants him powers such as telekinesis, freezing, and electricity to defeat his foes. Its powers can be combined with both melee and ranged weapons. Ammunition can also be upgraded with various elemental effects using canisters. These canisters can be looted and crafted, and then equipped by the player on both melee and ranged weapons. If the canister depletes, it is discarded from the player's inventory. The main protagonist is a mentally unstable officer on special assignments named Major Nechev, nicknamed P3, who is sent by Professor Sechenov to keep the situation at Facility 3826 from deteriorating. P3 is challenged with combating robots that went haywire, failed biomechanical experiments and his own, ever-deteriorating mental state.